have any heart? That's no. Fun. They suck. Person. I've been telling you all season, they Philly. They've shit on you. Oh. They've shit on you. <laughs> Don't you hear me? Jordan Davis, <sighs> Kayla Carter, it's like they shit on you. Oh. They've shit on you. <laughs> they have shit on you. Don't don't you hear me, Jordan Davis, <sighs> Kayla Carter? It's like they shit on you. Kill them. Oh my goodness! Did he say they they cock it on them? I hate the style of defense. I. What's up, good people? Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Blue Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. You know, I'm I'm here at the Red Brick House. Um, I had a delivery uh, that I ordered from Amazon. Ordered some stuff, and the United States Post Office actually delivers it and i got a little bit of a problem because we found the the this antique uh mailbox that we have on the side of the house but because there's not any other houses on our street somehow in the middle of town we have to have a rural carrier in which case they won't get out of the car so i've got to wait either till tomorrow or hopefully they get it back in this evening and so i'm putting the mailbox out in front of the house even though i've got one on the house and i was talking to my buddy game time brian who's Still a little under the weather right now and um, feeling really depressed because I, I was talking to him and it's like, I don't want to be in a funk like this, but there's literally nothing good to say. I mean, th there's nothing we have. Th the last thing we did was we lost to Green Bay. We heard Jerry Jones talk about all in, and that doesn't look like that's going to be the case because Mr. Buzzkill, Stephen Jones, well, I'll, I'll get into that. But I was feeling bad, and it's like, Brian's like, I don't want to be so negative, but he's like, there's nothing, there's nothing positive. I mean, even looking at the combine, we ain't got that many draft picks because we traded a fourth round for Trey Lance, and now we've dropped you know, another $4 million on him, and so on. But then the Eagles have admitted that they made a mistake. They made a mistake. Let, let me go to the tape with Philly 500 because this at least made me smile. At least makes me smile. Here we go. You by the way, Kate Ding back here. Hope everybody's having a great day. Hope mm -hmm. you guys are doing well. Hope you're hanging in there. We got huge, huge, monstrous, gigantic, quadratonic breaking news right now as the Eagles trade for safety Kevin Byard. Who said it couldn't happen? Who said Howie Roseman wasn't going to do anything? You knew it was coming, especially after last night. But man, this isn't just a trade. This is highway robbery. Howie Roseman fleeced, I mean fleeced, the Tennessee Titans yet again. Now, before we get into all of it, if you do the channel and you like the content, make sure you hit that like button. More importantly, make sure you subscribe to the most censored, the most throttled pause. Eagles got the creator in all of the internet. If you've been subscribed for a while, I just want to thank you so much for all the support you give to me. It truly means a lot. Uh, we got breaking news. This is unbelievable. I'm sitting there. Mm -hmm. I'm driving. I'm all the way across town. Mm -hmm. And this thing's breaking. Philly 500 turns the car. Boom. He's on the side of the road driving. He's going between seeing cops, giving them the fingers. I'm flying home to get home to talk about this. What am I talking about for those that are living maybe on planet Pluto or watching Mark Holmes complain about the Eagles winning? Here's okay. what we got. Deanna Russini, a paisan, she says this. <laughs> the Tennessee Titans mm -hmm. are trading all-pro defensive back Kevin Bayard to the Philadelphia Eagles. The Eagles will be sending the Titans a 2024 fifth and sixth round pick. Big deal. And to top it all off, to have the laugh of last, safety Terrell Edmonds. You can have him. <laughs> he stinks. The Eagles get Kevin Bayard, mm -hmm. all pro safety. Mm -hmm. Holy crap. That's what Holy crap we thought right. would happen. That's what needed to happen. Uh, we talked about this. And this is a huge, monstrous move for the monstrous Philadelphia moves. Eagles. I, I can't say it enough. There is a big gaping hole, Paul, yeah. in the in the secondary, and you need a safety. Now, I like Reed Blankenship. I think Sidney Brown will be a good safety maybe, you know, someday down the road. 
But what are you going to do in the meantime this year? You are a 6-1 team. You have the best record in the NFL. <laughs> you have to go out and you have to get a safety. That's exactly oh. what the Eagles just did. Oh. I almost got in a wreck. What a day. What a 24 hours. My God. And it doesn't, it doesn't end here. We're, we're, we're going to have to talk about this tonight. Um, when I come home. Okay, I'll, I'll leave that there. So, he, uh, Terrell Edmonds for Tennessee got 20 tackles and two and a half sacks and an interception. Um, Kevin Bayard for the Eagles had about 73 tackles and that's about it. And was kind of a disappointment, much like the Eagles that started the season out, uh, as he just pointed out, they point, started the season out 6-1 and one and ended up uh, not quite 6-1. and one. They are cutting, they are cutting Kevin Bayard. Now, here's the thing I was saying. So, he had $13 million salary for this year, last year of his deal. It's actually not that bad because they're actually going to save $13 million. Because now, they're sitting on about $40 million worth of cap space to make another move. You know, we screw around. Okay, we screw around and, and understand it's only a million dead. It's only one million dead and they save 13 million on their cap. 13 million, they can go out and get another guy. See, we've got a guy who's making 13 million in Michael Gallup. We'll cut him. We'll end up taking an eight million dollar dead hit and then having to spend another six million later on. And that's not the same. No, it's it's not. It's not. It's not. Now the thing that hurts them is the fifth round and the sixth round picks that they lost that they gave up, as well as Terrell Edmonds. So you know it's it's not all bad news, but it was a bad move. And this is where you know probably Philly five hundred somewhere in his closet doing. Fire Howie. Fucking fire. Motherfucker. Stupid motherfucker. What an idiot. What an idiot. Dallas has a more Cooper and Gallup, but we don't need a receiver. Are you kidding me? I don't want Justin Jefferson. He's ass. He's stupid. I fire his ass. I fire his ass. I mean, how he's got to be stupid. What are you doing? You just let Dallas take him. You. Yeah, there you go. So, at least it brightened my day a little bit, you know, that they spent a fifth and a sixth round pick and they got nothing for it so there's that now like i said for them at least they got the cap space and they're doing circles around us with cap room we on the other hand have done absolutely nothing um and in fact now that i think about this this actually makes me a little more depressed because at least they're admitting that they've made mistakes they're moving on from them and they're going to try and get better we make mistakes, and then take forever to make amends for them. It sucks right now being a Cowboy fan. Peace out.